Welcome to the Captain Crow Show. Today I've decided to give a little insight into my opinions on No Time to Die, Daniel Craig's final 007 film. Some of you may call me a blasphemer, but to be totally honest, I was never into 007's previous iterations. They were fun action movies, sure. And the only reason I watched this one was because my best friend loves them and I wanted to treat him for his birthday while he could get away from his kids once in a blue moon. This one blew me away. I was moved emotionally in more ways than most in the past several years. The choreography and cinematography were absolutely beautiful. The action and plot flowed extraordinarily smoothly and showcased several talented actors' skills. It even allowed Daniel Craig to perform in a few scenes that more than earned multiple awards. I loved, I laughed, I cried, and then the finale. The climax of the whole story began, and I was severely underwhelmed. While watching this film, you can pick up on several obvious cues as to where the story is going and pretty much predict the entire ending. Granted, it didn't exactly happen the way I expected it to, but the results were the same. This caused me to have a moment of hope that it wouldn't go the direction that it had been hinting at since the introduction of the plot in the first five minutes of the film, only to make the disappointment hit that much harder. Overall, it's a great film. I recommend it to any and all James Bond fans, especially if you want to see Daniel Craig off on his final adventure as Bond. Take my expectations being raised and dashed with a grain of salt and go see it for yourself. I guarantee you will not regret it. I tend to be rather harsh when it comes to criticizing cinema these days because, well, let's face it, there's a lot of junk out there. That concludes my spoiler-free review on No Time to Die. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more reviews in the near future. 